Hello, Year 4. No, it isn't Mrs. Thomas in disguise. I'm making a guest appearance this week on your video lesson. Today, we're looking at Romans Lesson 2. A bit of history, of course. And the key question for today, what happened in 55 BC? So there's a key question at the top there and a little bit of a, a hint, really, to what we're going to be doing today. I don't want to go into too much detail yet on those learning objectives because it will give away a little bit of the information for later. But I can tell you that we're going to be looking at describing, analysing and appraising uh, as part of our learning objectives today. So I'll reveal the rest of the learning objectives a bit later in the video. Before we go any further, though, just a few key words I want to highlight that might help today. We've got chariot, soldier, coin, empire, standard, Julius Caesar, sword and shield. So the pictures give you a bit of a clue there with some of them. The only one that doesn't have a picture is empire, which was the land that the Romans controlled. So it's called the Roman Empire. You may have heard of the British Empire as well. So the land, the territories that Britain controlled. But we're focusing on the Romans today and a very famous Roman. You can see in uh, the right hand side there, the second one down, Julius Caesar. You may have heard of him. Standard, something that was carried by uh, the standard bearer, uh, one of the soldiers in the army. And that was something that the Roman soldiers would follow into battle. It was a very important symbol for them. The other ones I think we'll be familiar with. Well, before we think about what happened in 55 BC, what do you know already? What does BC mean? How many years ago was this? And why was this year important? See if you can pause the video now and have a think about those three questions before we move on. Well, BC does of course mean before Christ, so before the birth of Jesus. I'm sure I've spotted you learning about this in one of your history lessons last term. Even better if you can tell me what AD stands for as well, if you can remember that one. How many years ago was it? Well, 55 years before Christ. It is now the year 2021 AD. So what we have to do is we have to add 55 to 2021, which gets us 2076 years ago. Quite a long time. And why was it important? Well, this was the first attempted, it's an important word there, attempted, the first attempted invasion of Britain by the Romans. So as we said, 2071 years ago, over 2000 years ago, was when the Romans first tried to invade Britain. Now you can see on the map there, Britain is circled, um, with the arrow pointing to it, this one here. I like this for you. It's Britain. Um, we are somewhere up here in the northeast of England. Now you can see uh, with the other circle in the bottom right hand corner here, the Romans. Okay, the Romans were based in. Uh, some of the Roman army was based in France, um, what we know today is France, but the Romans called it Gallia. Uh, and the people who lived there were the Gauls, G-A-U-L-S, the Gauls. The, um, and they were just across the English Channel from Britain, where France is, of course, today. We mentioned Julius Caesar on our keywords slide. He was a Roman general who was uh, stationed um, in Gaul in Gallia, sorry, um, in France, and he wanted to cross the sea to Britain. He wanted to invade Britain, make it a part of the Roman Empire. He wanted to conquer it. Now, the people living in Britain at the time, the Britons, were known as the Celts, and they were very brave warriors. Uh, and actually, this first attempted invasion, they did manage to fight back and send Julius Caesar back to France. 
even though he had brought with him two Roman legions. Now, there's some links here, and this might be a good point to pause this video, or if you can open these links in a new tab, there's a, a really good um, website there, highlighted in blue, uh, the BBC Bite Size website, which has a video clip, some information, and some activities around um, the invasion itself, or the attempted invasion. And that video is also available on YouTube, so a longer version of that video is on YouTube. Um, the first few minutes are the, the important ones, so maybe at this point you can pause or you can look, come back to this later on but those are some really really useful links there you can use to find out a bit more about the invasion let's think back to the the key question then what happened in 55 bc well we, we've discussed what happened roman um roman soldiers attempted to invade britain but how, how do we know how do we know what happened um was anyone there to take pictures did we have the film crew there recording every moment well no we didn't because uh, such technology didn't exist in those days so think about what we rely on how do we know what happened what ways can we find out what happened now one possible way is to um, look at what people said at the time so some people uh, Caesar himself actually recorded um in in a diary what had happened um so we're, we're looking at there's a one of the other documents on teams has um some quotes actually from what he recorded at the time uh, so you can look at those after this uh video but we can also look at um pictures as well now as we said photographs weren't taken at the time we couldn't we, we can't see pictures exactly as they were what we can look at are artists, uh, paintings, sketches, uh, representations of what happened. And we're going to look at a few of those now. Here's one. All right, here's one such um, artist's impression of the Romans landing on British shores. So, see, look at this picture here. I mean, one of the difficulties we have, but one, this is one of the, the good things we can actually do here is, is look at this picture and try and pick it apart ourselves so what can we see here there's something that I mentioned is one of the key words there something very important you may be able to spot that uh, in the image can you identify the Roman soldiers can you identify the Celts what can you see in the background? What do you notice about where the battle's taking place? Is this good evidence to tell us what happened at the time? Now this second image is another artist's impression. This is perhaps a little bit clearer um, for starters it's in color and that often helps us to process the the image more clearly um, it also gives us a, a different perspective um, the last image was almost a snapshot of battle but whose perspective is this image showing the Romans or the Celts something else what can you identify in this image Now, it's, this is a really, uh, really important thing to mention, actually, in terms of when Julius Caesar tried to uh, bring his troops ashore. Um, the the tide was low uh, when the ships reached shore, so they couldn't bring in the, the large, they had large ships, they couldn't bring them close to the shore. So what the Roman soldiers had to actually do was to uh, jump down into the water and try and wade ashore. Um, now, why, why do you think that was a problem? Think about what the soldiers wear, what they have to carry. Why was it such a disadvantage for them to try and attack coming out of the sea? 
how do you think the Roman soldiers felt having to jump down into the icy cold waves even though this it, it, they didn't uh, attempt this in winter think about how cold the sea is around Britain and imagine being dressed in all that armor carrying your shield your spear your sword having to wade through waist deep in the waves and then looking up and seeing the sight of the, the Britons the army waiting for you how do you think the Roman soldiers would have felt And then another another image here, a different perspective. What do you think this one shows? What does it tell us about the battle? What does it tell us about the Celts and their army? We talked on the previous side about how, how would the Romans have felt facing this army coming out of the water. What about the other side? We can see here the chariots and the warriors uh, riding towards the field of battle. Would they have felt confident, do you think, seeing the Roman soldiers stranded in the waves? Right, there's going to be um, another file attached to the team's assignment, which is a script, uh, which is um, an a fictional account of, of what um, some warriors might have said at the time when they went to meet the Romans. So it's as we've had artists' impressions of what happened, we've got also got a writer's impression of what um, these warriors might have faced. So we've got these three gentlemen here, um, quite scary looking characters if you ask me. Um, we've got uh, this fellow on the left with the lime in his hair and the, the ward, the blue dye all over his skin. Uh, we've got this um, gentleman with the axe as well. I'd be, he'd be getting, well, they'd all be getting quite cold, I think, wouldn't they? He hasn't even got, these two haven't even got shoes on. And then we've got this guy on the right hand side who looks like he means business as well. How well I remember that terrible day when the Romans first invaded. Yeah, it was a cold autumn morning and we were gathering berries at the time. I looked up and saw a sight that turned my blood cold. A sleek black shape loomed on the horizon. As I strained my eyes to make it out, I saw to my surprise another and another I was transfixed in terror, realising this must be the Roman army. Our Celtic friends from Gaul had told us about their fearsome fighting strength and their huge numbers of armed sh soldiers. As the ship sailed closer to our shore, we heard the sound of a menacing drum beat. Boom, boom, boom. It was then that I joined you and you pointed out the ships. By then at least a dozen had crept into view. I can still recall that taunting drumbeat going thump, thump, thump. I had forgotten that I was cold, that I was hungry and shivering. We raced up the hill and back to the village to warn everybody and to arm ourselves. We gathered every spear, every bow, every knife, sword and dagger. We sent messengers out to all our neighbouring tribes to warn them. We waited for hours on the hill and watched in fascinated terror as the Romans landed on the shingle beaches. There were thousands of them, organised into rows and columns and marching exactly in time with that sinister drumbeat. It was a chilling sight. Well, there was my uh, best attempt at three different warrior voices there. I mean, I was going to go down the accent route, but one of them probably would have sounded Australian or something. So, um, as I said, you can look at that script on Teams on the assignments page uh, to have a look through. Now, that is something that might be really useful for that first learn objective there. So, that I said we'll go through these in a bit more detail, didn't I, earlier in the lesson. Now, 
when it comes to doing your tasks, I want you to pick um, pick one task to focus on. Now, the increase in difficulty as you go. So as we start with the the green one here, describe the Roman invasion of 55 BC. Now, what we just heard um, with that script there was uh, a description of what happened. So it was a description of, from the uh, warrior's point of view, seeing the Romans arrive and what happened. You could describe it from uh, a Roman point of view, if you wish. You could describe it from uh, the, the Britain's point of view, or you could describe it uh, in the third person. So imagining you are, like in that first picture, seeing things from afar, seeing things from um, beside what is occurring on the battlefield. Secondly, analysing the reasons for the Roman invasion. Why did the Romans invade? Okay, we'll look at that in, uh, in more detail on one of the next slides. And finally, appraising the decision to invade Britain. Appraise, uh, decide whether it was a good thing or a bad thing. All right, so we're going to look at a few more um, sources uh, of information before we access that one. So if you were going to complete this task, describing the invasion uh, of 55 BC, the five W's that you may have heard of before, um, five key questions, what, when, who, why, where. So we're going to answer those things as part of our task. What happened? So the Roman invasion. You don't have to go through this and just answer each question individually. What we use these questions for is in your in your answer or in your response, you try and make sure that all of these questions are answered. Um, so within your paragraph or within your paragraphs, if you're going to write um, something similar to, to the script, for example, uh, you want to be making sure that you're covering all these key details. So if you're going to describe something, describe the Roman invasion, you need to cover these key things. What happened? When did it take place? Who was involved? Why did the Romans invade? Where did they land? And really important, without we're talking about the evidence, how do we know? How do we know those things? So the resources you can use to help um, are the pictures um, that were in the earlier slides, the video clip that I put the link to, uh, the script, and the keywords as well. So th those are all resources that you can use to help you answer uh, this task. Describe the Roman invasion of 55 BC. So a little bit more challenge here with this second task. Um, analyze the reasons for the Roman invasion. So focusing on the why here. Why did the Romans invade? What were the different reasons? And again, how do we know? And above all, were these valid reasons, were these good reasons to invade? Um, in terms of resources, there is a text that will be attached to Teams as well. And I think that's a really important uh, document for this task. So as well as the resources that were mentioned already, look through this additional text and see wh what reasons were there for invading. Lots of information in that video clip as well. So it's really important. I would really recommend that you watch that additional clip. This final one, appraise the decision to invade Britain. Was it a good decision? Was it a bad decision to try and invade Britain? And I've put here that on the right hand side of the screen there, that is the text that I was talking about on the previous slide. So that is what is attached to Teams. It's two sided, but there's some really, really good information in there um, that will help you answer this task and the previous one. So I want you to think about this question. If you're going to answer, if you're going to try this, it's it's a challenge. This one, you know, if you want to challenge, if you want to uh, test yourself with this task, it's a, a really really good thinking task here. Was the attempted invasion brave and glorious, or greedy and foolish? So discuss the reasons for and against. Was it brave and glorious, or was it greedy and foolish? You use those different sources, read through and pick out evidence that supports either side. So evidence that shows that invading Britain was a brave and glorious thing to do. It was a good idea. Or was it just 
a bad idea? Was it greedy? Was it foolish? So you may be able to make up your mind already on some of the things that we've discussed and seen and heard. But I would say it's really important to have a read through that additional text because there's loads of good information in there that help you answer this one. So those are your tasks for this lesson. As I said, choose one of the tasks. You can complete your task in your exercise book or save a Word document if you're doing it on a laptop. Uh, make sure you write the learning objective at the start so we know which task you've completed. And then you can upload your document if you've done it on Word or a picture of your work to the assignment on Teams where it says add work. Um, or you can email the work and if you look at that uh, email address there, you can attach, uh, attach copies of the work and send it to year4 at ssjs.co.uk. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing some of your work as it comes in. And that's it for me for this week, year 4. It's been a pleasure.